Welcome to this video on calculating IV drip rates. When you have an order for an IV infusion, it is the nurse's responsibility to make sure the fluid will infuse at the prescribed rate. IV fluids may be infused by gravity using a manual roller clamp or dial a flow, or infused using an infusion pump. Regardless of the method, it is important to know how to calculate the correct IV drip rate. When calculating the drip rate, first identify which IV tubing you will be using, microdrip or macrodrip, so you can use the proper drop factor in your calculations. The drop factor is the number of drops in one milliliter of solution and is printed on the IV tubing package. Macrodrip and microdrip refers to the diameter of the needle where the drop enters the drip chamber. Macro drip tubing generally delivers 10 to 20 drops per milliliter and is used to infuse large volumes or to infuse fluids quickly. Micro drip tubing delivers 60 drops per milliliter and is used for small or very precise amounts of fluid, as with neonates or pediatric patients. If you simply need to figure out the infusion rate or the milliliters per hour to infuse, Take the total volume in milliliters divided by the total time in hours that the medication is ordered to be infused over to equal the rate in milliliters per hour. For example, if you have 1,000 milliliters normal saline to infuse over eight hours, take 1,000 milliliters divided by eight hours to equal 125 milliliters per hour. To calculate the drip rate, however, the drop factor is needed. The formula for calculating the IV drip rate is total volume in milliliters divided by time in minutes multiplied by the drop factor in drops per milliliter, which equals the IV drip rate in drops per minute. Let's try an example. The provider has ordered 1,000 milliliters lactated ringers to infuse over eight hours. You have a macro drip tubing with a drop factor of 15 drops per milliliter. Calculate how many drops per minute to set as the IV flow rate. Using the formula, 1,000 milliliters divided by 8 times 60, since we have 8 hours times 60 minutes per hour, then multiply by 15 drops per minute to equal 31.2, rounded to 31 drops per minute. Here's a tip. When the IV tubing is microdrip, 60 drops per milliliter, the drops per minute will be the same as the milliliters per hour. For example, you have 500 milliliters to infuse over 12 hours with a microdrip set. The total volume, 500 milliliters, divided by the total time in hours, 12, equals 41.6, rounded to 42 milliliters per hour. The drops per minute would be calculated as total volume divided by time in minutes multiplied by the drop factor of 60 drops per minute, which also equals 41.6, rounded to 42 drops per minute. Let's look at an example of an IV piggyback medication, one gram of ANSEF in 100 milliliters of normal saline is to be infused over 30 minutes. You have macro drip tubing with a drop factor of 10 drops per milliliter. Calculate how many drops per minute to set as the IV drip rate. Use the formula with 100 milliliters divided by 30 minutes multiplied by 10 drops per minute, which equals 33.3, rounded to 33 drops per minute. If you need to set this up on an IV infusion pump, use the formula volume, milliliters, divided by time, minutes, multiplied by 60 minutes over one hour. This equals the IV flow rate in milliliters per hour, which is the standard method of setting infusion rates on IV pumps. Using this formula, 100 milliliters divided by 30 minutes times 60 minutes in one hour equals 199.9, rounded to 200 milliliters per hour. Once the infusion has started, monitor the rate closely to be sure it is infusing at the correct rate and check the patient's IV site 
or signs of infiltration or inflammation. That's all for this review. Thanks for watching and happy studying.